This is item number 46 from the spring 2014 test items that were released uh, for the Tennessee End of Course Algebra 1 test. Uh, the question says a window at the top of a building is a right triangle with the dimension shown in the diagram below. So they give you this diagram and then they give you this box. Which is closest to X, the length in feet of one of the congruent sides of this window? Now, if they give you a gigantic box with a Pythagorean theorem and the part of the, Pythag of the drawing that shows what sides of the Pythagorean theorem to use, they're giving you a very clear hint about where they want you to go with this question. The only thing that makes it particularly difficult, number one, if you don't write it down, you can make little careless mistakes, but that's not what makes it uh, a little difficult. It's that they give you the length of the entire side. But what you should know is that if this is the same as this, that means that this is the same as this. Just kind of an FYI there. So this is splitting it in half. This is a perpendicular bisector, this part right here, the line. Um, anyway, so you have to split three in half, long story short. So three divided by two gives you 1.5. So I'm going to get rid of that altogether and write 1.5 right here. So now I'm left with this idea of 1.5 here, x, and this, and they also tell me that the distance from here to here is 1.5, so I'm left with that setup. Um, if you draw the little triangle out to the side, it's really easy. The thing that would annoy you is if you put 3 into the formula because it won't work, just so you know. Anyway, I tend to write the formula down. You should probably do that too because there'll probably only be one of them, maybe two, of that exact type on the uh, test. So taking a few extra seconds to write it down will make sure that you get it right when you you know dump it into your calculator later. So 1.5 squared. You'll notice, by the way, that the two numbers that were given make up the sides, or are the sides, I'm sorry, that make up the right angle. So that would be A and B. Plus 1.5 squared equals C squared. At one point I always said to touch the right angle, which is a good strategy because it tells you what A and B are just in case you ever see it and they, it's not in this context. So 1.5 squared, which is one of those things that I don't have memorized, So, but why would I? So I'll do 1.5 squared plus 1.5 squared and hit enter. 4.5 All I need to do now is figure out, okay, well, what's, what do I need to do to get to C? Well, the opposite of squaring is square root, so I'll just take a square root of both sides. So C is equal to the square root of 4.5, also something I don't keep readily available in my brain, 2.12, something like that. So let's look at the answer choices and see if there's anything we can pull from. It's looking pretty good right here. So that's likely your answer. And just as a, you know, you could have also tried to do the whole, um, this is a, because of the way the angles are set up, that would make this sort of a, the type of triangle, because these two are the same, that this is probably 45, 45, 90. So you could have done 1.5 times square root of two if you wanted to go about it that way. But at this point, I would just use the Pythagorean theorem if you don't really want to deal with the whole special triangle thing. That might be something that's actually more confusing to you right now than just using the formula. But I think the key issue is to make sure that you write down the formula, plug in the numbers, and then go ahead and just start churning it out in your calculator if you're a button presser, because this is not the type of thing uh, that you should miss. You shouldn't miss this question for that reason anyway. If you missed it, I would just expect it to be because you used three up here. So before you go ahead and dive into the question and start using the numbers they give you, just take a quick cursory look at the question, see what it's asking you, make any adjustments that you need to make, and then solve it. Because they're just trying to make a question that's really not that tricky into something that is. So don't fall for it. You're better than that.